the man had so many people in his truck and so much furniture that people would find that something was poking them in the back or something uncomfortable and they would just pitch it out. They would, the, the man lost quite a bit of his furniture on that trip. I usually don't do these upside down. I was sitting on this end <laughs> the whole time. It and it was it was like this exactly like that. Okay, yeah, it was the bike was right over here, like right over, right here. Because when we sat, we had to hold to the end here, you know, to the edge, so we don't, you know, because it was it was really full. So if we can put something in the bottom, if you can't cut it to make it smaller, you know, and then we can put something oh, okay. and then raise all the furniture to make it exactly how how it was. You know, I found working with Zainab that I was immediately immersed in a rich stories from a family and community and a religious tradition very different from my own. Uh, and I found myself connecting with a larger community full of vibrant experience. And when the war started at one o'clock in the morning, it was very, very loud and, and we couldn't wait for the morning day to come so we can leave the house because we felt the house is going to fall, fall on us at any minute. And we thought since Basra is close to Kuwait, maybe if we go to Amara, and that's where my uncle lives, my dad's friend. He was with him in the police. And my dad, I remember for two hours, he was standing on the highway just to try to get any car, anything with wheels that moves, just to get us from Basra to here.